Hey everybody, welcome to part 16 of Bug Snacks. Last time we went round uh, Snacksville, sorry, Snacksburg, <laughs> and got some more side quests going. Today we're heading up to the freezing peak to see if we can catch Scooby Banoopy. Not a cookie. Oh, five hours go by pretty fast when we're working together, Wamby. And now that the avalanche is cleared away, we can go explore the top of the mountain. Trivi. I'm almost 50, and my back's at least 100. Let's go lie down for a spell. <laughs> I mean, that's a very cute little direction. I do like that. <laughs> but yeah, previously there was an avalanche here, so we weren't able to get up this way. But now that's been cleared, and now we can head to Frosted Peak. But yeah, this is the place where... Elizabeth Megafig is said to have gone missing. And also, Agabelle is supposedly up here looking for her. Hopefully, we'll find her. But yeah, my main goal is to catch a Scoopy Banoopy or two. And then return and donate them. Because I believe you can catch two up here. I'm just going to have to double check mine. Welcome to Frosted Peak. As you can see, we have what kind of peanut butter? Yeah, peanut butter plants. And already you can see quite a few bug snacks up here. There's a big mountain, there's a cave, and a grumpus over there who we're gonna go talk to in a moment. But I think I already spotted what I wanted to catch. Yep, there it is. That thing. Not that. Scoopy Banoopy. It catches prey in its forelegs and freezes them. Get away fast. So what we have to do... Set this up here. And then you see that tree over there? Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to lure it into tripping up because it has ice powers. So, we're going to lure it into tripping up over the fire. Here it comes. Ta da! Oh! Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't quite as... <laughs> okay. Hmm, how do I... Oh, wait a minute. I probably have to just lure it onto this and then... Fling it into the fire, perhaps. If not, I think there is another way to catch it. Now let's go and get its attention and we can lure it down. Scooby. Loves chocolate. Completely acceptable. There you go. He's now got me in his line of sight. Ah, oh, bugger. Well, that didn't go the way I was hoping it would go. <laughs> I 
Yep, we caught a Saudi. Okay, this guy's gonna have to... There's an alternative way of getting him. Scoopy by no bar. There is an alternative way of doing this, so let's lure him up here. Ah! And then we're gonna... Come on! Come on, Ugly. Someone I want you to meet. Hey, I didn't say you could walk away. Yo, dumbass, over here. Oh. Never mind then. <laughs> oh well. Ah, you shouldn't be here. It's not safe. You need to get off this mountain for the sake of your health and well being. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to ignore her. <laughs> you, you know me? Oh, oh, you're the reporter. The one Liz was always talking about. I didn't think you'd really come out here. Uh, what are you doing up here? Surviving. Clearly. If another earthquake strikes, it'll cause an avalanche. If you're up here when that happens, you'll be buried in snow. And if you don't die from blood force trauma, you'll asphyxiate. I can handle it. I've been up here for weeks on my own, doing fine. No, not until I find Liz. We... we were exploring the mountain. There was an earthquake. You should at least go down and tell everyone you were okay. Everyone thought you were dead. Come on, dude. Just go back home, okay? Be safe, and please, don't tell anybody I'm up here. <laughs> Scoopy. Scoopy. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Uh, Cheery bounces around directly, but is otherwise helpless. We can just catch this. Hey, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, not you. All oh, right, it's right over there. Wait, what? It moved again. I have no idea where that cherry went. The only way you can get one is by breaking up a scoop of a newbie, so... I'm kind of annoyed that my plan didn't work, though. Hmm. I don't even think there's more than one. I think there's only that one in the game. You have to come back here at least twice. There's Banopper. 
Then where the heck is the... Yeah, this game does do some weird, you know, stuff sometimes, like you've just seen. It's not normally this bad, though. <laughs> like, the AI is weird, the AI is strange, but it's not usually this bad, where things just randomly disappear. Anyway, um, I think we're going to have to head back down the mountain. Because I need an actual Scoopy Manoopy, not just. Not the components. Alright, let's head back down. Because I might as well. Hmm. It might be worth heading out to the desert and getting a praying picantus. Because <clears throat> those, at least, I know how to catch that one. Um, Scoopy Manoop is just a. Twat. <laughs> I shouldn't say that in recording, but that guy's a git. That, and I still need to get an Incharita. Excuse me. Also, yeah, get lost, Kooky. That's it, we've also got Triffin's quest to do, so we could, hmm, be better than running back and forth endlessly between these areas. <coughs> hmm. Actually, let's go speak with, um, not Floofty, what's the other guy's name? Uh, the yellow dude. Snarpy, that's it. Let's go speak. Let's go speak to Snarpy for a minute. I want to hear what he has to say because we haven't done a side quest for him just yet. Um, Cromdo, Snarpy, uh, Cromdo, Snarpy, Shandlo, and um, Wiggle all have boss fights at the end of their side quests. Nobody else has. So. Let's see. Hey, mind your own beeswax, huh? Snarpy is usually inside his house, if I recall rightly. To hide well from the so-called Grumpanati. Ah, chum! Good to see you on this ordinary tyranny-free day. Let us talk pleasantly of the weathers. I've discovered something terrible. My seismic readings show that activity in the mountain is growing stronger and more frequent over time. We must find the source of the quakes before the situation grows out of control. There is an unusually large bug snack on the mountain that I'm certain is involved. The formidable Scoopy Banoopy. Disassemble it and dispose of the components in my mouth, and once more we will have thwarted the Grumpanati. <laughs> okay. Uh. Wait, catch one Scoopy Banoopy, feed one Scoopy Banoopy. When did I catch one? I ain't catch one. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> Delicious! Thank you, Chum, for feeding me that random bug snack. Right. Okay. I don't know why the game well, thinks that was the whole thing. I have another for you. Meet me out back. I'm afraid that our success may provoke a counterattack from the Grumpanati. However, I have defenses prepared. Oh, well, almost prepared. I've set up flares around town. Ah, I know, to yeah. ward away any predator snacks looking to take action against us. I'm so glad you asked. Did you know that my trip shot can do more than, well, trip? 
it can also spread fires or spread waters, harness the elements of nature, if you will. Hmm. With that in mind, you should be able to light the rest of my flares. Okay. So there's one flare. Um, let's see. So yeah, again, I don't know quite why the Scoopy Banoopy, why the the Scoopy I can't registered. That's a buster. There you go. That's how it works. So you just keep doing this, basically. Uh, there's one up there. Can I? I can't reach up there, so that's fine. We'll just go for a different one. Uh, let's see. Okay, now we can do it. Sometimes you gotta play a little weird with it. There's another one. Uh, there's one up there as well. Yep, I don't know. I believe this thing does have a limit to its range, but I'm oh, not bro, sure. You're gonna burn down Snacksburg with those things. Why are you lighting all this stuff up? Bro, I saw Snorpy set these up. If you don't want to tell me what he's up to, I'll respect that. But don't treat me like I'm stupid, got it? <laughs> Alright, dude, chill. <laughs> chill. Sure, it was nothing personal. What? What? Might as well feed him. Feed her. It. Sorry. Again, I'm never sure. That's five, and then we need. We got. Should be two more. I believe one might be down here. There it is. Alright, that is almost all of them. Where's the last one? Uh... Hmm, I do not recall where the last one is. Let me head upstairs here and we'll get a better view. One up there. Down there. Hmm? Unless he thinks the fireplace is, is one of them. <laughs> nope, didn't count. <laughs> um, right, where's this last one then? Hmm, there's another place I can go to get a better. Oh no, wait, it's right there in the garden. Why is it there? Why is it there?
There we go. Let's go back to Snobby and see what he says. <clears throat> Excellent. We're protected for the time being. Yes, he does that sometimes. He's adorably inquisitive. You let me worry about that. I'm very used to worrying. For now, ease your mind. I'll let you know if any more trouble arises. Well, there you go. So, that's kind of it for this episode, I think. We've, um... We sorted out Snarpy for now. Um, we've met Eggabel up on Frosty Peak. We've made an attempt at catching a Scoopy Banoopy. Um... I will be making another attempt at that probably in the next video. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching. See you later, and until then, stay safe, have a good one. Bye.